Why are you love me like that? Okay. Seriously? Come on, man. Right. I don't want Chris Rock. Yeah, Ladies you know, and gentlemen, that, Ladies and Maria, are you rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me welcoming Henry to the podium. <laughs> Some of you guys already know, probably, in the beginning, but you guys will have in the entire university life. If you're never using it, or you're using it sometimes, but you have the keeping back force, it's called primary and secondary stores. <laughs> Who can really tell me what's the difference between primary and secondary, secondary source? I was never taught it. Come on, sure. <laughs> okay, well, just... well, secondary is the most um, common in the sense that it's easiest to access, let's say, uh, existing books that have been written or articles that are already out there. Primary is if you yourself discover it, engage in it to specific, more specific to exactly what you're looking for, more customized, versus secondary is generic information that you try to match. Good job. Well, anyone else please suggest? All right, go ahead. Well, for example, like the primary source for let's say like a movie would be the movie itself and the secondary source would be like a review or an article about it. All right, good, good, right. see? <laughs> I, mean, I, I believe everyone been to the Scout Library for a, um, for a session called how to do primary and secondary. Oh, I, I bet everybody does because <laughs> no. I've been to York, this is my last year, and, and I've been there for more than two times for the information session for that. So I, I can't say I'm a pro because, um, I mean, we get two teachers in here who, who are in the teacher's college right now, so they know more than me. But like, um, <laughs> I still get some idea on that. So let's go to the website. I mean, this is, uh, um, I just show you guys some basic fundamental, like if you want to do uh, research on a home. So everybody know WordCamp, that's like um, a database like Wikipedia. If you want to using that to find out the books, article, even magazine or journal article from the, um, um, from, from a website before you go into the Scott Library website. I mean, we Scott, Scott Library was one of the unique tools for using, but I just um, experienced this week, um, not every single thing you, you can find in Scott Library, especially if you see the search library result, all right? If you go in here, you probably couldn't find anything, so what I do is go into WordCamp or Google Books. That's another unique tool for checking it. Like just the, the world of 1812. And there's a coming a, a lot like you know the, the, the book or something, right? See, there's a lot. But like um if we want to know about, let's just say, a letter wrote by Lincoln during the time of the, this thing, where we're going to find that is, here's, an, here's a great tool called Gesto. I, I love this website because um, it's show you how to use it, all right? If we just um, type the And you see, there's around 339,726. Yeah, I know there's a lot. But how you find an article in Gestor, that's another, um, that's another thing I'm going to teach you guys because um, uh, most of the people, they, they go into Gestor and they find out what they want. But sometimes it's hard to define whether it's primary and secondary because 
Primary could be a movie. Primary could be an autobiography and, or a speech. Like, um, I have a dream speech by Martin Luther King. But if you want to know about, um, other than that, like a book about, a book review, let's just say, about um, 1812 for the Civil War, when you go to the gist store, you can just type like this. When you type book review, voila. And here's come to the book review. So I can click this. And it shows uh, the book review thing. And that can also using that tool in the Scott Library website. But I bet there's a different result. So we can see there's a tons of the book review in here. <laughs> And uh, the last thing I want to talk about it is um, this is really great tool. Um, if you if you never experienced um, primary and secondary school source, I encourage you guys to do it because it's more helpful in the working field when you went to work. Mm -hmm. You can do research and you can know how to use a database. And that's the teaching of the day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Henry. And now we're going to start the Q&A. So if anyone has any questions for Henry. Which database did you find more reliable? Um, JSTOR was one of them. Also, I found out in like um, the, the science technology, like um, there's a different field in the sky. Because we only have five minutes, so I didn't really show you that. But there's a different category. If you go into the Scott Library website and you 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 pick in e resource and you there's a website I just found out this afternoon, laid list for category. Cause what I used to do is like um why when, when I found a book or book review that I needed, I just um, go and work at or go into the Scott Library website and uh, type in and there's a result. But I just found that um there's a different category, so you can actually using it and more easy to find whatever you want to find it. All right. Could a, I don't know, but could a, another name be for secondary primary sources of scholarly? Sure, sure. Uh, it depends on um, like when you do research, how you type in the thing though, because. Uh, some sometimes the well computer is like a database, right? So that's a thing that that's a thing, uh, not like us. Like we be smarter than computers, but like um, people who put in the information to the database probably sometimes going wrong or or the access couldn't um, access. Cause uh, I've been um, I've been familiar with that. Cause um, I remember there's a time I need to do um, essay for Civil War for my American history class and they're trying to log in to see a document wrote by uh, Joe Lee but I couldn't access because um, um, the website was turned down it was uh, based on Congress library and Congress library in the United States was another way to find the, the great resource on that and just I believe you have a question Oh, I, I was just going to ask you, in your opinion, how much time should you dedicate towards researching a thousand word paper? Um, well, it depends how many stores you want to use it. Because uh, in a university, if you, you, if you write an essay, right, uh, most of the professor will tell you say, how many stores they need it, how many primary and secondary stores they need it. And uh, to evaluate the um, sources go or not, you have to you have to see the um, a list introduction to to see what the articles talk about it to evaluate this things go or not to put it. Otherwise, you get bad mark on that because I I've been experienced for quite a while. Yeah, couple couple of my professors were straightforward on the source. 
So you have to follow the, the rule they, they play in the game. Yep. Anyone else questions? Okay, thank you very much, Henry. I'd like to call upon Matthew. And hold, hold on. Matthew. Hold, we need to.